My name is Debbie Brown, veterinary nutritionist from Filiola SAF Animal Care in UK and Ireland. We quite often dismiss heat and stress in the UK and Ireland because we don't get the hot temperatures for a sustained period of time. In UK and Ireland we do have quite a humid environment though, so with the high humidity with low temperatures can cause the same effect as dry heat will do. Cows need to maintain their body temperature at 38.8 degrees C. The various factors affect that temperature, including radiant heat from the sun, relative humidity, yield, stocking density, and wind speed or airflow. Temperature and humidity both interplay to cause heat stress in cows. We measure that using the temperature humidity index or the THI. In temperate climates such as the UK and Ireland, we're seeing PHIs of 62 quite a lot of the year, even in mild winters where the airflow is not good in buildings. So it's not something we just need to worry about for a few weeks in the middle of summer. There's various impacts that heat stress can have. For a start, the cows will stand more. They dissipate heat easier when they're stood. So that means they're not lying down as much. So they're not codding as well. They're not digested. They've not got as good digestion. Feeding patterns also change in cows with, with heat stress. They start to take smaller meals and they start to sort it more looking for the more energy dense products. This reduces their overall energy intake, which can have a negative on fertility and yield. The best time to look at your cows to see whether you've got any signs of heat stress going on is about two to three hours after milking. Go into the shed or stand outside the shed and look at your cows. Are there more of them standing up than lying down? Are they gathering round doorways or where there's fresh air? Is water in consumption going up? Are they hovering round water troughs? Are they taking less dry matter? Are there more cows drooling? Um, are they panting? Can you see an increased respiratory rate? There are various things we can do about heat stress if we suspect we've got it in the herd. And there's certain things we should be looking at. The first thing would be ventilation in your buildings. Are there a lot of cobwebs on the roof? Is your roof open? Could you look at opening the sides of the building more or look at opening the roof to encourage more airflow? If that's not possible or your buildings are quite close together, then looking at putting in fans in to keep that air moving across the cows will help them reduce the heat. The next things to consider is water intake. Cows in heat stress will start looking for more water. Is your water plentifully available? Should be a minimum of nine centimetres per trough space per cow. Right. Are the troughs got enough water pressure behind them to keep that water there at all times? Feeding is also worth looking at. Because of that higher risk of sorting and changing feeding patterns, feeding more often or feeding at night can help keep the food fresh and encourage dry matter intake. Adding Actisaf into the diet can also help because it helps stabilise the pH in that rumen. It helps feed uh, digestion better, it helps feed efficiency, and therefore will maintain your yields and your fertility. If you want to know more about how Actisaf can help with heat stress, please visit our website.